Hello students. In the last video, we showed you how to change the subject of the formula for the area of an ellipse. So in this video, you've got two questions to do, both concerning the volume formula for the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r squared h. So for this question, what I'd like you to do is first rewrite that formula with h as the subject. And then once you've done that, find the value of h for these different values of v and r. A quick reminder from the last video, if you're trying to find, make h the subject, you can divide both sides of the equation by pi r squared. You don't have to do it as two separate steps. Okay, away you go and restart the video once you've finished. Okay, let's see how you went. Well, we start by writing out the formula. So V equals pi r squared h. I want to make h the subject so I can divide both sides by pi r squared. So we don't have to divide by pi separately and r squared separately. We can divide both sides by all of that. That goes to 1, leaving me just an h. And there's my formula, h equals v over pi r squared. OK, now we can go ahead and work out the value of h. So let's bring up our calculator. And I need my fraction button. The volume is 500 cubic centimeters. And I've lost track of what my r is. So the volume is 500 over pi. So I need my pi button multiplied by radius is 10 squared. Quick check, 500 divided by pi times 10 squared, 500 divided by pi times 10 squared. Yep, looks like I've done it correctly. And I get 1.59, etc. Rounding it to two decimal places, h equals 1.59 centimeters. Okay, next one for you to try, slightly harder. Okay, the same formula, V equals pi r squared h for the volume of a cylinder, but this time I want you to make r the subject. Now notice you have an r squared, and that is an index, so you gotta figure out what's the opposite of squaring r. Okay, good luck, and away you go. Okie dokie, let's see how you went on this one. V equals pi r squared h. So we need to make r the subject. Okay, the first little problem, although it's not really a big problem, is I need to divide by pi and I need to divide by h. Well, as we did in the previous video, I can do that in one step. Even though they're not written next to each other, that doesn't matter because order that we the order in which we multiply things doesn't make any difference. So the pi's divide out, the h's divide out, and that leaves me with just r squared equals v over pi h. Now, how do we get rid of the squared? Well, the opposite of squaring something is to take the square root. And again, I have to do it to both sides, and I have to do it to the entire side. So put the square root over everything. Square root and squaring cancel each other out. And my equation is r equals the square root of v over pi times h. OK, let's now go ahead and find the value of r for these values of v and h. So once again, we'll need our calculator. So the first thing I have to do is press the square root button. The second thing I have to do is press the fraction button. Now in the numerator is going to be V, which is 300. In the denominator is going to be pi times H. So pi times and H is 20. Okay, before we do anything, let's have a quick look. I've got the square root of 300 over pi times 20. The square root of 300 over pi times 20. Yep, it all looks good. And again, what I'll do is round that to two decimal places. So I get 
9. Because that's 5 or bigger, the 8 becomes a 9. So final answer, R equals 2.19 centimeters. Okay, that's the end of that video. Let's move on to one last video.